Hi everyone, welcome to the next tutorial of the Mono Game series. This one's going to cover the basics of the content pipeline, how to get it set up, kind of how to import content, and then we'll go from there and hopefully get into the tutorials, the actual, the, the meat of the tutorials, the next uh, video. So, hope you enjoy. Okay, so since Mono Game 3.8, they've actually changed how the content pipeline works now. And to install it, you basically have to run a .NET tool command. So if you head over to your command line, I'll use PowerShell, and type .NET, you should see a similar output as this here, give you some usage information. Uh, if you don't see this, then you need to set up your environment variable so .NET is registered. So if you go to start, environment variables, type that, and open the top one, that's good enough. Environment variables here. And then within path, use the variables for Dan, that's me. Within path, if you open up that, scroll down, you can see I've got .NET uh, basically listed here. So you just make sure that you've got it listed here and you should be able to access uh, the .NET command line. Uh, browse, find the path here, and then just press OK, and you should get it listed there. Once that's done, close your environment variables and then restart your command line. So it just re-registers everything and run .NET, you can see that you get this output here. All right, so once you've got the .NET tool registered, you can actually start to using it now and use it to install the um, Monogame content editor. So you write .NET tool install .NET MG CB dash editor. So this is the command you run, as soon as you hit it, it should do an import and download it. I'll put this command in the description so you can access it easily. There we go. Okay, so once that's installed, you get this lovely output here, and so you can invoke the tool using the following command. Now, to make this the default editor, you should run another command. So it's mgcb editor dash dash register. This basically says that whenever you open an mgcb file, it'll be registered as the default application. Go associating MGCB editors with the MGCB extension in Windows. Association complete. So now you actually have the editor installed. You can run it using MGCB editor. It should open up. Here we go. Okay, so here's our content pipeline tool. So every time you create a mono game project, it will actually create an MGCB file alongside it uh, that you can use to specify your content files. Uh, but, but for this example, I'll manually create a file just so you can see what's going on and how you can get your assets imported. Okay, so if you head to File, New, you can then select somewhere for this uh, MGCB file to be saved. I'll just save it in my pictures for now and I'll call it Content Save. Okay, and so once that's done, we get the content presented here and it's basically indicating that we need to save this file. So just Control S or File and Save. And now we're ready to get some content imported. So if you click on content, uh, you can right click and press add existing item. This allows you to basically import anything you want. So at the moment I've got this splash uh, image that I want to import. I'll just double click on that. And you can see that it's added that folder with the splash inside it. And it's again telling me to save. So control S saves. All right. So heading over to the directory where I've saved this MGCB file, we can have a little look what's inside. Okay, so if you right click this file and click edit with notepad++, it'll open up a file. Here we go. So this is what actually gets saved within the file itself. It's, it's just some text uh, that indicates the kind of import that's used in the processor and any of the extra things you can actually specify. And here we go, we got begin what what it's going to be doing with that particular resource and the end as well when it builds it. So that's that's the content file. That's that's basically what it is. There's nothing fancy about it. Uh, the MGCB tool itself, it just allows the easy generation of these content builder files. And that's it. That was a quick look into how the content builder works for Monogain. Uh, we're going to get into this a lot more, but that was just a quick overview of how to get things set up just so you're not rushing around in, in, in some of the coming tutorials trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.